Emmy-nominated actresses whose go-to karaoke song is You Ought to Know by Alanis Morissette. That is not an easy song to sing, but I will tell you she is the it gal in Hollywood. Please welcome Caitlin Deaver. <laughs> to meet you. I have been watching you in everything oh. for the last few years. It's so nice to be here and to see all of you and to meet you for the first time. This is so nice. Okay, so I just saw Ticket to Paradise because yes. uh, George Clooney, um, <laughs> he's gonna be on our show. Right. Uh, and you're so wonderful in the movie. Oh, thank you. It was a, it was a dream, truly it was a dream. Um, getting that call um, saying that, that I'm, I'm going to be George Clooney and Julia Roberts' daughter is, is just like an Are overwhelming. You know? it's, just, it's so overwhelming. I mean, like one of them is a lot and then like two of them is mm -hmm. just insane. Um, it's just my, it's mind blowing. Um, and the two of them, I have to tell you, like their friendship is, is just the best thing to be around. It's the best energy. It's, um, they love making each other laugh. It's truly the best. Um, is it true that you guys went on like a sunset boat ride at, in Italy with George? It was, it, we were in Australia still oh, okay. shooting the movie. So boat. Boat ride. George. Boat George. Australia on a tiny little island. We were shooting on an island that was literally like three miles wide, three miles long. And you, it was so small you couldn't even drive a car. So you were like literally driving golf carts around this tiny little island. People would pass by George on his golf cart. And it's just the, the craziest like world we were living in. But yes, he took us on a, he took the cast on a casual sunset boat ride and the boat was really nice and he he and Amal were hosting us with like tiny little ham sandwiches and just the most insane thing I've ever done and then they took us back and they we, we all got back in our golf carts once we went got back to land and like we followed them back to their house and they hosted us even longer with some pizza that they had just made it was crazy <laughs> it was, I don't even know like when I say that out loud I can't even process that well, um, another genre you're tackling is Rosalind, which is, I freaked out on the log line. First of all, it's written by the guys who wrote 500 Days of Summer. So yes. let's just start with that. Right. Um, and it is, a, I mean, it, you explain it. I'm so okay. excited. I want to like tell it for right. you. But so we all, yes, we all know Romeo and Juliet, the tale, Romeo and Juliet. Basically, the story of Rosalind is about the girl Romeo was dating just before, just right before he met Juliet. Um, and Rosalind decides to sort of convince Juliet along the way that Romeo is not the guy for her because Rosalind is supposed to be with, with Romeo. So um, I'm really excited about well, this. Well, we have a clip. Uh, oh, let's yes. take a look. I'm so excited for this. You've never heard such poetry. Let me guess. He compares you to the moon and the sun. The fairest stars in heaven do entreat your eyes. How, how do you... It's Romeo Montague, isn't it? <laughs> and um, as a last story, may I ask, is it true that like Tom Hanks let you hold his Golden Globe. Yes. But what did he say? That's what I loved about it. Oh my it. God. It, he just, I honestly can't really, my parents will remember it better because I probably blacked out. Right. Um, <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't even think straight, but he, I, we were passing by each other and he stopped me and he handed me his Golden Globe and he said, just, just, doesn't that feel nice? Someday you'll be holding one of those. And I was just like crying. It was so crazy. It was really, really sweet. Well, I'm so happy for your beautiful career. I'm such a fan of yours, and Thank I'm so excited that. to meet you today. It's so great to meet you, Drew. Thank you, Caitlin. Rosalind is streaming now on Hulu. And don't forget to catch Ticket to Paradise. And 
let yourself like walk out with the most open heart and open mind about love because that's in theaters this Friday.